I'm nervous and excited because I know this is a big change. Hey loves, it's Angelica and today I thought I would do something a little different and I just wanted to share how I'm changing my life beginning with the gym. This would be maybe an intense video, it might be triggering for some of you so if you have an eating disorder or any kind of issues with food or anything like that, you may want to click out of this video now. So for as long as I can remember, I have never been happy with the way my body looks you know there's times when you think oh i wish i could go back like i wish i could be as fat as i was when i thought it was fat and that can be a scary thing because it's like will i ever think i look good or am i going to continue looking back when i thought i looked bad and still think that i should look better and every year at the beginning of the year i would put it on my vision board i would put pictures of fit looking people and i'd say i want to look i really don't desire to look like anyone else honestly i don't like hope to look like kim kardashian or whatever like i really don't desire to look like anyone else i just want to look like the best version of myself and i feel like i've never I've never hit that. I've never actually looked like that. And despite it being in my head a main thing, like it's a it's a must, I have to do it every single year, I would always put it on the back burner. But I think that if you really take something seriously and it is really that important to you, you will always find a way around it. I just kept thinking like, I'm not putting myself as a priority. I'm not putting myself first. If it is really that important, I can always find a way around it to make sure it works for me. And this year, I really put that as my priority. And a lot of things have gone into the way. Into the way. I was working out for a little bit. I love lifting weights. I was working out for a little bit and I ended up suffering from overtraining, which I didn't know was a thing that can even affect someone who's like, you know, just working at home. I thought you have to be like lifting like crazy, like a bodybuilder to suffer from that. But it hit me and I was literally sick for two months. Then I had a flu that was literally worse than COVID that lasted for almost two months as well. I also want to just say that this is not the first time I've been to the gym. It is the first time I've ever been to the gym in this country, which is my home country. I was, I did go to the gym for the first time in my life when I went for a student exchange program at the University of Pennsylvania. For the first time I joined the gym, I was there for five months. And I must say, out of any time in my life, that's when I was the happiest with the way I looked and the way I felt for the first time ever. I was eating more food than I've ever eaten in my life because the gym makes you so hungry, but it was the adequate amount because I was working out a lot. I had so much energy. I would wake up at 5 or 6 a.m. even when it was snowing. I felt the determination. I loved the environment in the gym. I did that for five months and I didn't really hit my goal. I wasn't really as knowledgeable as I am now because even though I haven't been in the gym, I have been doing lots of research and been watching a lot of YouTubers and fitness influencers that's the closest i ever got but i still didn't get there but this time i just i know i'm gonna get there and it's simply because i have never failed at anything i've put my mind to and i'm not saying that in an arrogant way i just mean it every single thing i have ever imagined in my head when i'm serious and i put my mind to it and i say okay this time this is gonna happen and i'm gonna do it it always happens so i know it's gonna happen now it's just a matter of my own determination and i think my biggest issue with why I've been unhappy with my body for my, I would say, entire life is the way I look in my head. Like when I close my eyes and I visualize myself in the future living my best life, I am making money, I am with the person who I think I want to be with and deserve to be with and who I've not met yet, by the way, but I know I'm gonna meet them. I'm very patient. When I look at the way I look in my head, I have like extremely healthy, long, shiny hair. My body is snatched. When I wake up in the morning, I have energy. Like I could get up and be like, you know what? I feel like I can do anything. I wanna start working. I could go for a jog. I could like, I have so much energy. And so the person in my head the way I look in my head as my highest self just doesn't match the way I look on the outside. And so the only way to rectify that situation is to make my body on the outside match what I'm thinking in my head. And before I get any comments, I do not have any desire, like I said at the beginning, to look like anyone else. I also have no desire to get any kind of surgery, like a BBL, or a boob job, or a butt job, or 
whatever the surgery is, whether it's on my face or on my body, I just want to look like my best version of my natural self no desire to look like anyone else you might be looking at me and thinking you're a very small person actually i'm way bigger than you and your weight now is my goal weight or you might be thinking girl you know what you're right you are kind of fat for your size you do need to be like much much skinnier okay whatever your thoughts are you can have them but it is all irrelevant to me because the only thing that matters is the way i think of myself when i look in the mirror so I understand if you may be offended by me saying that it's not like I even want to lose a lot of weight. I just want to be fit and I want my stomach to touch my back. Okay. I want abs. That's all I want. Not even abs. I just want 11 lines. Okay. I believe that if I can have maybe not total control, but as much control as I can over my mind and my body, I can do anything. Because I think the way we think and the way we act is the most difficult thing to control compared to anything else. It's very easy to complain about what other people are doing. If I'm trying to convince myself like, you know what, you've had a tough week, you've worked out pretty hard, you can take an extra day off, you can just sit. Am I really fatigued do i am i extremely tired or am i just being lazy do i just not want to go to the gym for no reason so now specifically why i'm documenting it starting from when i'm going to the gym compared to like any other workouts i could have done at home it's because the gym is just a special place you can lose weight anywhere you can have a good diet anywhere you do not have to go to the gym but why i specifically want to go to the gym is because the gym offers something different first of all it's got all the equipment I could want. The main thing it offers is environment, okay? Everybody's there to work out. There's personal trainers who are there to help you if you're confused about something or if you're just bored and you're looking for a new workout, they could show you something. You're all there to get fit. You're all there to be healthy. Some people are already fit and they're just trying to maintain that. Some people are there for the first time. They have no idea what they're doing, but they're determined to get in shape and it allows total focus. You can even see the people around you. If you're naturally competitive like me, in the back of my mind somewhere there's always that thing like girl you've been here for like 10 minutes you're really gonna leave when all these people are putting in all this hard work it's not like really a competition but there is that competitive nature that just kicks in where you're like i'm not gonna do this not to mention i do like money <laughs> and so i pay for the gym myself and when i pay for something you better believe i'm gonna get my money's worth and lastly i work from home which means i don't see anyone aside from my family and occasionally my best friends so putting myself out there and going to the gym i literally talk to and meet new people every day even if i'm not speaking to them at least i'm interacting somehow with people a clear and tidy room equals a clear and tidy mind at least for me when my room is clear i feel like my mind is clear it makes me focus and do way more undistracted work whether it comes to wanting to work out or wanting to do anything because there's just so much space and i feel like there's so much space in my brain to just think creatively and work on myself better and so once i was done tidying my room this is essentially what it looked like it's not spotless but it is way cleaner than it was before definitely more open space and this is a sunday by the way the day before my first day on monday where i decided i wanted to do a final look at the gym just to make sure i know exactly what i'm paying for i wanted to look at the machines see the environment just one last time before i put my money there because i paid for three months in advance on the way to the gym i decided to first go to my first local market it is actually a chinese market if you don't know i live in zambia this place is called jcs and it always has all the seafood that i buy the only seafood i don't buy here from here is salmon because it's cheaper somewhere else i also get my dumpling wrappers here for dumplings or soup when i'm feeling lazy to make it myself and i buy all my fresh vegetables from here because you know diet and exercise goes hand in hand but i always try to eat as much vegetables as possible so i decided to stock up on all my favorite veggies and garlic and any food that i need for 
of the week i will not be meal prepping i cook every day but more on that in the future if you want what i eat in the days so now it was time to get to the gym and this is the name of the gym it's lifestyle health and fitness and that's my mom walking in the front i thought we'd just do a little walk through again so i can just look at the equipment there's a little otd and you can see i didn't really go there were people working out so i didn't want to go with the camera down there but from the top you can see there's a bunch of machines and treadmills for my music music can actually make or break your workout now i must say the gym that i go to has a fire playlist so i know if i ever forget to take my headphones I will be fine. I already these headphones from Amazon specifically for the gym. The brand is called Soundcore. Not sponsored. I just researched and a bunch of people said these were really good. And they absolutely are. They're noise canceling. They've got really good bass. And they stay on the whole time. They don't get slippery and they don't slide off your ears even when you're sweating. So I just put them on charge in advance so I could be ready. And now I decided let me prep all my clothes for the week so that I can help with not having decision fatigue. I didn't want to be deciding what clothes I'm going to be wearing every single morning when I wake up to go to the gym. So I decided to set out all my clothes for the week and sort of make outfits, six outfits specifically because I'll be going to the gym six days a week, basically working out every other day with the days in between being like active rest and yoga classes so there you can see those are the pants some of them are from Shein, some of them are thrift some of them are from asos but those are the outfits i meant i i made sure i had because it's a really good motivator to look cute when you go to the gym and i didn't want to have to think about that so i prepped all my outfits for the week My skincare routine for the gym is very simple mainly because I go hard in the gym and I sweat a lot so if I put a bunch of products I would just waste them. So I just put my toner, this is a hyaluronic acid toner, I don't use moisturizer, I go straight to my SPF because it is very moisturizing and it is the Bondi Sand Ones SPF 50, it doesn't matter if it's hot or cold or morning or afternoon unless it's evening. I will always wear sunscreen when I leave the house and that is basically my skincare done. Onto hair, I use the Amica Split End The Closer. It's a cream that's meant just for your ends. As you can see, my hair is super reverted at this point and in deep need of a wash but I was so tired and I thought, you know what, it's still straight enough, I can comb through it easily, let's take it for one more week and have an easy day at the gym so I don't have to worry about doing anything to my hair, I just have to put it in a ponytail. So after I put the closer in my hair, I went ahead and combed it with my wide tooth comb and I would just be putting my hair into your regular standard ponytail, I'm not going to do anything fancy, I'm using a little bit of got to be on the edges because it's the first day, want to be a little bit extra make the hair look a little smooth also because my hair at the back is still super nice and smooth but my hair in the front is reverted so I'm just trying to make the textures match a little bit so I put a little bit of that got to be and now I'm just brushing it with this bristle brush just to make the hair nice and smooth and I'm not putting the gel all over my hair I'm just putting it in the front but I don't worry if it kind of goes a little bit more on the rest of the hair simply because my wash day is coming up as you can see so I don't need to worry about about like gel getting in my hair and me not being able to style it any other way this will basically be the style for the week so I have my outlets tied and I'm just putting my hair in like a mid low pony and the tie is very stretched as you can see but I'm not tying it too tight or too loose it's just tight enough so it doesn't fall out but also tight enough to hold all the hair in place without it looking messy in any way so that's done now i'm just going over with the brush again to smooth it down and now it's time for my little makeup routine which is also just as extensive as my skincare routine very very minimal i put a little bit of contour i don't do foundation i don't do concealer because again i sweat i work out hard so there's no need for me to go like a full-blown makeup i just love makeup and if i can have an excuse to wear a little makeup every single morning i will do it so i have a round face and i absolutely love contour this is actually a foundation stick which i prefer because it means it's not as pigmented as a concealer so when you blend it it really looks just like skin 
skin so as you can see it just added a little bit of dimension to my face i'm just putting very little of this it's by makeup revolution in the color f14 any products that you can purchase will be listed in the description box below and now for my highlighter i'm using this dior highlighter quad and i'm only using that white shade now i know it looks white and you might be wondering why would you use white but it is the perfect skin tone shade when you are not wearing any makeup it actually has a nice yellow undertone and it literally just looks wet on the skin and i'm just placing a little bit of that on all the high points of my face basically where the light is already hitting my face that's where i'm going to put it because it helps make my skin look nice and glowy even when there's no light hitting my face and i put very little of that and just blend it out and this is such a great highlighter for that i absolutely love it it is on the expensive side but i actually think it's worth it because you get tons of product i've had it for months and i've barely made a dent in it so definitely worth it but not a necessity of course so once i'm done with that i just brush my eyebrows up i don't really fill them in because again sweat is just gonna come off no point in doing that so i just kind of brush them up occasionally maybe i'll feel like i need to fill them in then i'm going for a little bit of lipsticks this is by revolution pro i don't remember what the color is but i'll link it in the description box below i felt like it was a little too light so i went over the edges with my nyx lip liner it is just a brown shade i'll link it as well when i was done with the lip liner i still thought it looked still a little too light so i went ahead with my estee lauder red lipstick just to darken it a little bit and that was kind of perfect and i liked how that turned out after my skincare routine i move on to my mini breakfast my pre-workout snack i cannot eat something this heavy at this time i just need to get a little something in my system before i actually start my workout so i went for a little pb and honey because i had no jelly so peanut butter and honey i actually sometimes prefer it at least that has a little bit of carbs in the bread it's got fat and protein in the peanut butter and a little extra carbs in the honey okay so i just got to the gym there is blinding sunlight here already started kind of crazy i forgot my bottle of water which is so annoying but it's fine i usually don't even drink water during my workout i just drink it afterwards so everything should be fine um wish me luck because i want to go hard and yeah i'm nervous and excited because i know this is a big change the first step to changing my life so here's my little outfit of the day in the center you can see i am doing my little warm-up i walked on the treadmill for about 10 minutes and it is a leg day because i always go the hardest on the leg day i thought it was only only perfect for me to start my first day at the gym with a leg day so here i'm just doing some dynamic stretches a little bit of warm-ups before i go down to the weights if you didn't hear me say it at the beginning i absolutely love lifting weights compared to anything else cardio is just like an extra burner thing to do to burn a couple calories but i like to do weights i feel like i like how they make my shape look and everything so i was upstairs you can see there's a sign that says spinning room so where all the spinning stuff is and the treadmills are that's where i was doing my warm-up now i went downstairs to do my workout i will not be showing my full workout but of course if you want me to show that i can absolutely do a video on that i just wanted to show a few of the exercises i did so i did some deadlifts then i moved on to to some lunges some walking lunges with some I believe those are eight pound weights then I did some stiff leg deadlifts with a cable the cable machine this was actually my first time using the cable machine so you can see I'm trying to figure out how to get my form and then for the last exercise I again did a finisher on the treadmill I actually did more than this this was just a little clip of some of what I did for the day Lately I feel like an edit, they tell me watch out, but it's not about a paddock yet. Yeah. I got a stack of this money though, cause you talking about, I gotta get it now. All of the family gon' eat when I get on my feet, so best watch where you stepping now. Way beyond peace and J-Ray with the skins, no they can't go in for the business now. Okay, so I just got back from the gym. As you can see, I'm looking a mess, as you should after a workout, but it was amazing there's all the equipment i could have wanted i did a little 12 330 although it was more like a 12 320 
I did a full leg day. It was so good. I can't wait to feel the burn when I wake up tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm going for yoga because that's how I'm going to be doing it. One day, like really hard, heavy weight lifting. And the next day is more like chill, either Pilates or yoga and moving forward. But I would say my first day at the gym was officially a success. For my post-workout meal, this has been actually my daily breakfast for, I don't know how long, it's been a couple months. It's basically baked oats. Should I say microwaved oats? And it's basically like a little cake. And I have that with peppermint tea again. So for my little oat cake, I actually like to use rolled oats. You can use whatever oats you like. And I blend them and then I seed them. So I make my own oat flour just because I find it cheaper and I can control the texture and this is my oat cake when it's done with another cup of mint tea I don't usually drink coffee unless it's for variety because it does nothing for me but that's the little cake and it tastes so good it's literally like having dessert for breakfast every day and it is healthy with a little unhealthy topping because you know you gotta add a little spice would you guys like this to be a series because I really do want to start vlogging more? If so, let me know what other kind of vlogs you'd like to see in the comment section below. And would you like to hear a little bit more about my fitness journey, about the diet that I'm going to be doing or the workouts I'm going to be doing, anything like that? I'll be happy to make tons of videos on those because we need something a little different on this channel aside from just hair. And I've noticed that a lot of these, whenever I watch them on YouTube, they always kind of start at the end. Like the person is fit now and they're showing you like, oh, this is what I did. This is how I did it. But I thought maybe we should go through it together. And a couple months from now, maybe we'll be looking back and saying, oh, look how we started. And maybe you can come along with me as well if you are on the same journey. I'd love to know what your experiences are in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.